Alright guys, Warpig here. Welcome back to our game of uh, BBR42. This is uh, Anzac's turn. Anzac Canada turn 6. I'll do a recap of uh, Paul's moves. For Anzac, he had uh, 11 IPCs, purchasing one fighter. Only one combat move. The fighter in Western Australia had a movement of 3. Attacked the uh, Japanese transport, which is an auto kill. And it has a, a movement of one left, and it will land on U.S. carrier. Uh, one infantry and one AAA from Queensland moves into New South Wales. One infantry and one AAA moves into Queensland. Okay, that was everything for Anzac. Everything else remained the same. He saved one IPC. They are on 11 on the charts, so that would have been 12, but there is a convoy here. You can see his own, what is that, 52, 62, 62, which was a result of a loss of three IPCs. So, for turn 7, Anzac will have 9 IPCs, because he would have had 12. Canada <clears throat> had uh, 11 as well, 11 IPCs to spend, purchase of one tactical bomber, and there was three combats, tank from Algeria, blitz through Tunisia, into Italian Libya, and... An infantry and artillery loaded on a transport in sea zone 109 and from a uh, sea base moved to Norway along with the destroyer. And that was an automatic because there's no one there. That's all the combat. Non combat. This transport picked up an infantry. And uh, an armored unit, and it's going to move over to, to the UK. Uh, 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 I believe that's right. Oh, for Anzex, sorry. The fighter went into uh, shoot. New South Wales. Sorry about that. Okay, and now Canada started us at seven. They have three bonus for having units in a French territory, so that's ten. Plus they move up five, two in Africa, and three in Norway, so that's total IPCs for round seven of fifteen. And this tactical bomb we're going to Quebec. Okay. And that should be everything for Canada and Zach. France, France. They don't have any money, obviously, but we do have some non-combat moves. Over here in C Zone 39, this destroyer is going to move one, two, three to join your British fleet in uh, C Zone 43. The one infantry in French Equatorial is going to move up to Anglo Egypt, Sudan. And a fighter that's in UK is going to go one, two, three, four, five into Algeria. And I believe that's it. All right, that's it for all the movements, place units, recap. In Quebec, there's one tactical bomber for Canada. Sea Zone 109 has a transport. UK itself has a fighter, two infantry, and an armor unit for Canada. Norway, an infantry, and an artillery. Algeria has one infantry, and uh, 
Italian Libya has one armored unit for Anzac. Dutch New Guinea has one artillery. There's a fighter on the U.S. carrier in C Zone 47. Western Australia has two infantry. Northern Territory has one. Queenland has two infantry and one AA gun. And New South Wales has an infantry, artillery, an AA gun, and a fighter. And they have 90 PCs to spend next turn. Canada has 15. France, the French, there's one French destroyer in C Zone 43. One infantry in Anglo Egypt, Sudan. One infantry and one fighter in uh, Algeria. And one destroyer in C Zone 109 with two infantry in the United Kingdom. So, it's the end of uh, round six. Canada is now at 15 on the IPC charts, and ANZAC is at 11. And now we are moving to round. Seven, and currently the Axis have nine, I believe, victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine victory points. On to round seven with Russia. Or pig out.